this is me, Minky, from the well in the future, like right at the end of the video. Sorry, I'm plugging back in my iPad. I accidentally got the camera open. It's already off to a great start. I just want to say hi, welcome to my channel. If you're from my diploma, you do not have to watch this video because it is literally just me fangirling over seven Asian men. And that's kind of weird if you know nothing about it and are still watching. So please don't embarrass me at college, okay? Okay? I'm going red. <laughs> Those who do want to watch this, I, I can't imagine this video is going to do very well um, because not many and citizens really follow me anymore. If you are a fan of NCT, I think you're gonna like this video because I'm yapping a lot. I'm showing you a lot of NCT content. Uh, this intro is getting very long. You guys don't want a long intro. Enjoy the video. Uh, I give a top 10 right at the end of the video about my favorite parts from the concert. There'll also be like the occasional thing throughout as well. So Mwah, enjoy. I don't know why I gave you a kiss, that was a bit weird. I'm gonna need you guys to really use your imagination right now. I got this technically custom made and it says Hitchan on the back with his number. Franz says NCT Dream 07. I don't know, do I leave it like really baggy? Do I take it in? I don't know, we'll see. I couldn't find any necklaces similar to his in the reference photo, so I actually had to order the beads and the chain. And make them myself. I have to show you guys like better videos when I'm with Amelia at the concert because or like leading up to the concert. I'm gonna have to walk around London like this now I think about it. I need to go shower but after my shower I then I'm going to put the sticker on my light stick and make sure the light stick works. ignore the state of me and the state of my room you can't really see it but there's like washing piled up my bed's not made i'm so nervous but i'm so excited it's gonna be great I think I've made it to the next train after getting on like two tubes. It's really empty though, like it's actually kind of ominous how empty it is. 20, 25 minutes? I don't know. I'm gonna sit down in a second because this bag is incredibly heavy. It, I don't like how empty it is. I feel like Leica with the huge ass bag. Nice. Also, I was really brave. I went on two escalators on the underground. 
and I didn't cry. <laughs> when I first got here, I the first person I asked I was like, I was really confused because there wasn't any like direct and I just went up to her and I asked, I, I am lost. Well, I, I think I literally just said I am lost. I didn't even ask the question and she, she replied as in in this place or in life and I was like both. I liked her wit. I probably look like a deer caught in headlights just asking her. Hopefully it all goes well. That was awkward. Anyway, bye. I'll see you maybe when it gets her. Maybe. Just maybe. searching and being like does anyone jump out to me that has like a photo card you never see them on the way into neon you green <laughs> real like real and because you're there oh yeah they love me yeah they're gonna know that i'm in the thing and i'm gonna get like a special shout out yeah yeah the tiktok star <laughs> moggy babe i just can't believe that they're real and not like ai that's gonna be the most insane thing for me i feel like you would cry Oh, 100%. Cheese! Do, 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 do. Oh, We had to get, we had to take the car to the car park near the station and I'm having like hella anxiety about like if we're gonna get there on time or not because we're gonna eat first and I don't know why it's so bad because like Amelia knows what she's doing. She's just going to pay for parking and look at the stuff. Also, I curled my hair with a curling iron that I've never used before. So it's seen better days, but it's good enough. I'll see you guys very soon. It's 
Oh, wait, mate, did you just flash? I just, I just flashed your camera. Sorry, do you want to take it again? That was I gave into my intrusive thoughts then. So it wasn't a picture, is it? I know, but you, thought you, you just flashed me flashing. Cutie. I'm going to walk up there and make sure it says that this back in like 95% Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit lost. So here is... We Bias before the concert. Genuinely. Oh. What song are you most excited to see? Bob. Bob. Don't put me in a box. Who's your bias before the concert? Ketchum and Bob. And what song are you most excited to see? Better than gold. Oh my god. Oh, I actually just blinded myself. You blind yourself? No. Oh. There's 10 minutes until Wait. the concert. Not until Drake. Um, so we're waiting. Yeah, that's about all the update I have for you. We, excuse me, are waving up? I don't know. I am excited, I am nervous. People keep well, screaming at whoever it is. So. Oh, I want to know who it is. Could it, could it be um, Dear Alice? <laughs> I survived. I am so tired. I mean, we're just getting like some snacks and some drinks because I needed water. Um, but that was fucking insane. Okay, who is your bias after the show? Still Jeno, but Loki, Chenna, Renjun. See you, see you cookies. And what was your favorite song? Skateboard. Skateboard. Which kind of surprised me. Yeah. Soothie was good. All of them. All of, yeah, they were all really good. Who's your bias after the concert? Mark Lee. I thought it was more Mark Lee. And uh, what was your favourite song? That's really difficult because they were all so fucking good. But if I had to choose one, Hi. you're a good shape. Yes, sure. really far away but i think it's fine hello guys it's like two days three days after yeah it's now friday it's taken me three days to recover it it was insane like i wanted to talk about it because the videos do not do it justice genuinely it was the best experience of my life i think it's genuinely changed my life it was so good and i just want to yap about it so i've actually made a list of the top 10 moments from <laughs> the concert but there were so many more i've even got honorable mentions and there's more that like i probably can't even think of right now they were just their usual silly selves on stage and getting to see that live was incredible so yeah, I'm currently wearing the unofficial merch that was there. I don't know if you can see it, it says NCT Dream on the back. And I also have an official t-shirt because originally I wanted the jump up. It was 80 quid and I was not spending that much. So I got a t-shirt instead. Like words cannot describe it. Like, <sighs> So I didn't know what to expect because I don't know if you guys know, but this was my first ever concert. Like, ever didn't know how my anxiety was gonna be i didn't know how i was gonna be i didn't know how it was gonna be and on top of that every concert is different but the top 10 moments <sighs> okay in at number 10 we have just jisung being cute because i got a few videos of him and he was just adorable and one thing i'd like to add is that apparently london is jisung enthusiasts like galore 
Like, I don't mean that in a bad way at all. Like, all the members got like a huge scream for. But Jisung was on another level. It was insane for Jisung. I was so shook. And I don't know, that made me so happy every time. The next one is Munjin being just small, tiny, just ah! Like, oh my god. And getting to see OT7, that was so special. I was just so happy for him to be there, to be fair. And, um,. One of the honourable mentions I was going to say later, but I could just add it here, is that at one point all of the members put like confetti on his head. Oh, I think it was just Jenna or someone and I just got him looking really sad about it. <laughs> Number eight, I have Jamin. His like speech in English was just so adorable. It was so lovely. Like, you guys so beautiful. Arch? Right? No. King. Okay. Number seven, they sung When I'm With You a l just a little bit. They didn't like perform it, but they were like, oh, should we? Should we? One, two, when I'm with you, uh -huh. day and night. Oh, she played a tarantula, very dark in hell. When I'm with you, I'm so blind, so blind. But you're gonna say. So that was uh that was so special to me because we were the first people to hear it live. Also the new album is so fucking good, like I have listened to it far too much than is probably healthy for me. Number six is Mark Yuck. I don't have a video of this myself, but um hopefully I can find it somewhere. Mark picked up Nunjin. Um, which was adorable and then he -chan, like ran over and like just stood like this waiting for Mark to pick him up too So I loved that as a Mark and he -chan bias Number five we have he -chan's high note. I, I mean there was so many high notes and I only caught like one of them properly But I just want to say that all of them were immaculate and his poor voice having to do that so many times So I hope he gets some vocal rest It was amazing and getting to see him do that live was just ah! you, number four I, I just have it under mark bark when mark started talking everyone started barking <laughs> the third we have can't remember i think it was about mid show that costume changes but they took off their jacket. So obviously they had their arms out and everyone was absolutely going wild. Including me, I will admit. Sorry. But <laughs> Hechan was sat cross legged just watching them like this. And I have it on video. Right, coming in at number two, we have singing happy birthday to Chamma. I mean, I didn't even know it was his birthday, I'm gonna admit. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! That was that was amazing and then he was like oh this is my first birthday getting to spend it with you guys or spending it with the fans and i'm like ah oh, i hope you had an amazing time that's embarrassing for me soz i'm sorry chandla i'll sing you happy birthday next year <laughs> i'm gonna give the honorable mentions before i give the number one spot because that's how we do it here so honorable mention we have mark yapping there's a quick question that needs to be asked what is your favorite NCT Dream concept? I'm gonna name three. He is a yapper and I love it. I was so there for it. Number two for honorable mention, we have breathing because I cried like a baby. Another one is better than gold. I got to see better than gold live. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get the Jamin and London like but Chonla tried to do it with Jamin, and Jamin wasn't having it. So technically Chonla did it. And then the last honorable mention I have is the colorful light sticks. They all synced up, apart from the few people in the crowd that obviously didn't get the memo. Not to <laughs> name names. <coughs> Miggy. When it was colorful, oh my god, that was gorgeous. It, was, it felt like Christmas in there, it genuinely did. Okay, 
Number one spot. This is my favorite video that I took from the entire concert. I don't know how I managed to get it so perfectly, but the video starts off with Mark. He vibing. And then I pan over to Headcham because I'm like, okay, I need some Headcham content for me and for my friends. And then Jono comes up to Headcham and starts like messing around with his bag. Headcham takes off the bag and gives it to Jeno, and is basically like singing and it's like thrown into the crowd, like trying to like sh tell him to throw it. And he's like, why would I do that? But a fan did get that bag. That fan got that bag. Maybe not money bag, but like that could have been a designer one. And they just threw it into the crowd. Um, I'm sure the uh, wardrobe department was a little bit peeved off by that. So yeah, they are my top 10 moments. I mean, like I said, there were so many more moments that I would have loved to share with you guys. But not only did I not film them all, but I didn't um, see them all. But I would 100% go to a concert again like that, especially NCT Dream. No words, no words can describe it, man. It's going to take me a long time to recover from this experience because how do you just go on with normal life after that that's about all uh thank you for watching this vlog i hope that it was okay and not too all over the place like sometimes my vlogs are um i don't know when i'll next see you maybe around christmas maybe i'll do something for christmas for you guys